Good morning and welcome to A Brown Bag Gentleman. My name is Scott and today's shave is with the classic Edwin Jagger DE89. First razor I ever owned and to me today still, like 15-ish years later, still the litmus test for all razors. And today's soap is, was it Mammoth, Woolly Mammoth, Mammoth, whatever, um, but their, the scent is called Beloved. And I call my wife Beloved. That's my I, nickname. You know, I call her Belle, short for Beloved. That's just what I, my nickname is for her. So yeah, had to get it just for that. But let me give you an idea of the scent profile for this. So this is, time to get glasses on. <laughs> the scent profile is Bergamot, Mint, Lavender, Absolute, Cedarwood, and Sandalwood. And then the aftershave we're going to be using today, Sterling's Queen of Hearts, yes. And that is... Caramel, vanilla, berries, honeysuckle, amber, sandalwood, and jasmine. So you'd be surprised. It's, yes, it's not you know by any means an exact, but it I think it's very complimentary. Because I smelled the soap first, and then I went into my drawer full of aftershaves, and that's what I came up with to to complement it. So that's what we're doing today. So I see obviously for the wet shirt, you can tell I've already washed my face. I did that because the brush was soaking in the water. I'm just throwing a slap in a little. Extra water on right now. Dry my hands. And we have what what bowl is this? Um the, the copper bowl, sorry. Brand. What brand is this bowl? I forget. Oh well, it'll be down in the description. I'm just brain cramping. And then Razor Rock barrel 24 millimeter um, um silver tip badger brush. I'm sorry, best badger brush, not silver tip, best badger brush. And it's funny too, I sometimes forget this is the best badger, not a silver tip, because it's so stinking nice and soft. I like this brush. To me, this if a natural brush, this is a big bang for a buck. This is this is a good brush. But even like the shapes, yeah, I like the shape. I got it got it because of the shape, but I wasn't sure how it'd be with it, but easy to hold on to with you know fingertips and I, I kind of do it the downward curve is where I put it, but I can I kind of like lodge it in there against my palm there a little bit too and it's just holds in place very easily never feels like it's going to slip out of my hands or anything don't need those to shave oh the soap is so nice scent I really like this scent nice the way it all comes together it's funny some soaps like they have a layering effect and you can kind of pick up the, the scents this one, it kind of like, it's just all seems to be like merged into one. And that I only smell like just the kind of the overall balance of it. And that's, and it's very nice. All right. First pass with an edge and Jagger. This is the, um, Gillette silver blue blade in the razor. And of course that's not a factory stock handle. That handle. Yeah. I forget where I got that. No, that handle. Yeah. came from uh, razor rock from the, from the game changer razor I bought. This is the original handle from that. And I just swapped it up to this. Sin strength on this soap, a little more than some. This sin strength, I'd call it like four or five out of 10. Definitely more significant than a lot of soaps, but not overly so. It's not in like, um, it's not in like Phoenix Arters and Accoutrements territory. It's not that strong. Let's see here. But it but it's a nice, it says definitely comes out of the fit. You can definitely smell it, you know, on the strength level. Nice and easy. I remember my first shave with this razor, just how absolutely astounded I was with how much better it was after I was done with my first three pass shave. Then it what so how much better it was after years of using the multi-blades you know i started back i come i come from the days of my first razor was a track two that was you know the two blade razor that was my first razor and of course the twig under the nose that's what i always do Now, if you haven't seen my older videos where I don't have facial hair because I grow facial hair part of the year, not all of the year. 
Um, when I don't have facial hair, then yeah, I don't pull this out. This is only for when I have facial hair to get under here because I you know, can't come in sideways. And if this does just a superb job, yeah, it's all up tight. Oh, one little spot right there. Got it. Yep, there we go. There, so first pass is done. All right, lots of soap left in this brush, of course. Get ready for pass two. This very pleasant soap. Very nice scent. And of course, you, to me, you can't tell so much on pass one, like the slickness of a soap or what have you. Not always, you know, it's like, some of them were like really pronounced. It's like, wow, right off the bat, you know. Um, so it's not to me a, a fair judge on the first pass. Not until really get the third pass and that buffing pass I do at the end, that's when your uh, soap stands out. Let's see here. So we'll see how this Mammoth Soap does. I've used these Mammoth Soaps before. I think I've used a couple of different samples of different scents from them before. And we'll see how this one performs. So far, so good. It's, it's behaving very well. The soap is not giving me issues. Nicely. Yeah. No issues with pass two. Lather up for pass three. It's funny with with this soap. I like this soap. It's a good to me. It's a good compromise between different scents. Like if you like woodsy soaps, or you like more like. Um, Colony soaps or you know fruity soaps or whatever. This is definitely got some woodsiness into it. You can smell the woodsiness. It's you, you can you can hear, feel you know sense that that's there, but also with a bit of sweetness and you know, that that um, it must be that mint coming out with a little sweetness there too as well. But but it's it's behaving very well and of course the lavender a little sweetness from the flowers there. But I like it. I tend not to buy like just plain lavender soaps anymore. Not a huge fan of just plain lavender. My wife, of course, loves it. And I believe she's got a lavender soap. But for me, yeah, it's just not one of those that turns my crank. But mixed in like this, I like it. This is third fast. Let's see how these do like three along both sides of the Adam's apple. Light touch, See, just light touch, just light. The DE razor, you, you metal DE razor, you don't have to press down. Performs better if you don't. I think the first time I used this too, I think especially like first pass, I think I was pressing down a little bit. You're going to, you come from the multi-blade razors, that's what you're so used to doing, having to press down to get the thing to work and do anything. You just don't. You don't have to do that with it. Going to this is just an amazing different from the multi blades. It really is. And if you've seen other videos from other people too, and even for myself from several years ago, I rated this on a scale of one to ten. This is a solid eight for me. It's not the sharpest, you are, no, I can't say the sharpest because it's, you know, of course that a lot of the, the, the blade itself you put into it, but it's not the most aggressive, there we go, put it that way, performing razor with its angles and all that, but it's a good solid performer. You can use this every day because I obviously did for you know, years on, on end before I started going every other day. And now let's see here, put a little water on my neck, test that performance of that slickness of that soap. There we go. Yeah, nice, nice, nice. I don't have to go anywhere on that side. Oh, feel it right there. I think I'm even more light on a touch of my buffing pass like this with just water over the soap. Anyway, I feel like this, yeah, there's enough residual slickness. It's sufficient. 
Yeah, there we go. That's what I want to do. There we go. Now it's at the level that I wanted to be at. So drain the sink out here and of course wash up all this. So let me pause and wash up my face and the equipment and I'll be back in just a few. Okay guys, I am back. Just had a little sip of coffee there. And face is all washed off with a warm washcloth. Get all the excessive um, soap off my face. Clean up the equipment. This is all here, so it's all neatened up. And of course, that's the Captain's Choice bowl that I was brain cramping on earlier. So that's what that is. Captain's Choice. It has a little seal there too, which is a great spot to put the thumb when you're holding it. Just works well. So with that, okay, we're trying to put the cold water on because it's time to close the pores. This is an integral step of shaving. Closing the pores to, so you don't get the, you know, the, the clogged up pores and what have you too. So let's do that here. Okay, water's running, starting to run cool. So let me do two splashes and I'll be right back. All righty, shake it off a little bit. There we go. Now I wet the alum on the chin whiskers because they're all soaking wet. Okay, a little bit on that little spot on my side of my nose. It's from my glasses, that's what that's from. There you go. And see, I just go around twice. That's what I do. All right. Give that a few seconds and then pat it dry. There. Done. And of course, aftershave, of course, Queen of Hearts. So yeah, some different equations. Some, some couple of things are the same, but and this is a you know, sweet scent too. It's uh, out of the bottle. It's yeah, quite sweet. And I give a generous amount because it's sterling, so it's affordable. So I can be more generous. <laughs> and I bought this originally as a travel. This is like the travel one. I would. I just wanted to have something that I would have dedicated to travel. I mean, I'm not traveling today, but that that's kind of why I bought it a couple years back. <laughs> this in the matching. I have the matching soap too. That's that I travel with with my travel bowl. And what have you? And of course, we can talk about travel razors too. I might, I'll do that probably in another video. But what I kind of like, and it depends, of course, if facial hair or not it makes a difference. So, good shave, feeling good, nice close shave. Highly recommend as a first razor, the Edwin Jagger DE eighty nine. Absolutely highly recommend it. Thirty five to fifty five dollar range. It's something you can find on Amazon because when you're getting into it, you don't necessarily know about going on to different. Um, shave artisans out there who sell equipment and what have you so you don't know about those and I've done a, a video on, on those previously a, a few videos back here I think last month I did that um, so you can certainly go and check that out but good solid razor to start with it's one obviously I haven't outgrown it here I am like 15 or so years later still this is in my primary run so I have a I have my my razors in cigar boxes and they're all ranked by you know, how much I like them and how much I want to use them more. This is in the top box. We'll put this. This is my top, one of my top shelf razor. And it's probably the least expensive of all my top shelf razors. It would be because it just does such a superb job, such a classic design. You know, didn't see me hurt myself or anything. It's, I can shave and I can just, this razor, I can just not think about it when I'm going. Because I've used it for so many years. This is the only razor I had for like the first four years or so. I'm shaving. This was it. So I learned this razor quite well. And just know that it just does a, such a good job. Really, just, I mean, so good. I mean, it's it's that balance, so it's not so aggressive that, you know, you're going to get the extra close shave, but you're not going to, like, risk, you know, hurting yourself, especially for a daily shaver. This is good, good daily shaver. Absolutely great daily shaver. Where some of the razors that I use now are not. They're a little bit too aggressive for that. I would, I would, I would be hurting if I used every day. But for every other day, they're absolutely spot on. So, yeah, so... It's just how, how I shave and how I like my equipment nowadays. So, yeah. But it, it's getting into it. Highly recommend the, the Edwin Jagger DE89. You can find it anywhere. <laughs> online, that is. I, I don't know if you can find it in the store. But online, yeah, it's, it's easy to find. And with that, guys, hope you enjoyed. And go with God.